Hi, Ray right, Dave here from Dave's Special Foods. We're getting ready to uh, cook lots of food for Christmas and um, you know celebrate the holiday. One thing I wanted to show everybody and that I think is, is a real passion of, of ours and our family and not so much in a lot of other people's families, so I told you, you need to know how to do this, is eggnog. We want to make a good eggnog and um, that vapid um, liquefied milkshake with uh, uh, fake flavors and fake colors and caramel added uh, eggnog in a jug that you buy at the convenience store or at the grocery store is not allowed in your house. Get rid of that idea, make it real. You're gonna see we only have uh, like five ingredients here. Read the label next time you go buy that eggnog, it's disgusting. Let's show you how to make a real eggnog and we've grown up with this. Uh, this is my grandpa's, here's my grandpa. We have our little shrine to grandpa here. That's our little grandpa. If you come in our shop, you'll see grandpa. We have, uh, this is my mom's dad's recipe. We, we just call it the recipe. So if we go to look for it, in a recipe folder, it's under T for the recipe, not E for eggnog. I grew up with this as a little kid. I only ever knew real eggnog. We've got some ingredients here. We're gonna post the uh, recipe online here. We've got egg whites, separated. We've got the egg yolks here, okay? So you're gonna quickly realize that you're eating raw eggs, okay? Just face it, you're gonna do it. It's got sugar in it, which kind of uh, uh, protects the, the eggs and we're gonna put some booze in here to kind of uh, stave off any problems here, but you're gonna eat raw eggs uh, uh, here, okay? And here's some uh, milk. So we have eggs, sugar, milk, a little bit of cinnamon for garnish, uh, real vanilla, brandy, and I think that's it, okay? So here we go. We're gonna start by whipping our egg whites and making them around. All right, now look, your egg whites are whipping up. They're, they're, they're stiff and, and, and frothy. We're gonna make a meringue by adding half of our sugar. So we have a cup of sugar here, we add half of it. Okay, step one is finished. Look at that beautiful, sexy, luxurious meringue, okay? Boom. Here we go now with our whipped cream. I forgot to tell you there's whipped cream in here on top of the eggs. We've got whipped cream in here. When you're making whipped cream for eggnog or whatever, you use liquid, liquid real whipped cream. You don't use that can. You know, don't, don't have a Christmas feast and then put a can of whipped cream on top of something for dessert. That's not good. I have a KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, fine. You're just gonna whip this by hand and you just have three bowls, egg whites, cream, egg yolks, and you just go one at egg whites first and then whipped cream and then egg yolks and you're gonna mix it all together. Uh, we're going to whip the cream. All right, nice and easy. Whipped cream, beautiful, very sexy. Okay. So we have our whipped cream and our meringue. The reason that we uh, do the meringue first is because in order to get a very nice light meringue like that, look, it's not even, it's not even gonna fall out. It's because it's a dry bowl and you can't, you can't have uh, fat or whipped cream in the same bowl, okay? So whip that first. So here's our cream. Okay, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna put our egg yolks in here. Just get it fairly decent. We can put our egg yolks right in there. So we're gonna take our egg yolks and we're gonna add sugar, the, the other half of our sugar to this. You'll have the rest of it. Touch of vanilla. Just a touch. Whip it. All right, look at this. Okay, again, very nice. Okay, we've got this whipped up, like it looks like cake batter, okay? We've got whipped cream, egg whites, egg yolks. Let's mix this up, okay? Here's our whipped cream. We're gonna add milk, okay? We're gonna add a little bit of milk to soften it up, okay? Kind of make it a little bit more liquidy milkshaky. We got our egg yolks right in here, okay? By the time you get in the car and go to the store to buy this, you can make this. All right, here's your egg whites. Here's the key, okay? Now, we're just gonna give this a little mix here. Look at this. So it's, it looks kind of thick and somewhat frothy, somewhat uh, eggnoggy-ish, okay? We're gonna add, at this point, our egg whites. See, look at those nice, billowy egg whites, okay? Those go right in. 
This is something you're gonna make it and use it. This will sit on the counter for maybe you know two three hours. You don't cook. You don't do this the day ahead. You do this when everybody's over. Okay. Now we've got this kind of like just. It almost looks like a like a like a cupcake batter. Okay. We're gonna take a whisk. We need a ladle to serve this. And we need a glass to drink it. Okay. We're just gonna give this a little mix with our with our uh, whisk. I just kind of lightly mix. Then we're gonna add just a little touch of brandy. Okay. You don't have to put the brandy in, but we do. Okay, we're gonna go about a shot of brandy in there. If this is too boozy, it sucks, okay? You wanna make it a little bit background booze and that's it. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda lift and fold, okay? Lift and fold. Fold it in. Just fold it in! Oh, come on, you guys, smell this. Smell that. That is eggnog, okay? If you haven't had this, it's you're missing out. It, just look at that. Come on, that is super awesome, okay? In we go. Look at that. Look at how perfect it looks. Okay, those TV commercials with those that crappy eggnog. Don't do that. Okay, a little touch of cinnamon on top. Look at it's it's on the side. You know how you fix that? Okay, you take that and you lick it. Cheers. Happy holidays. Enjoy Dave's grandpa's eggnog. Wow.